What defense is, what's the best defense in the league so far? Jacksonville. Why? That front four and those corners on the outside and their safety play. I don't really like their linebacker. Jack, 44, kind of leaves something to be desired, but he's covered up on the front and the back end. Right now they're playing good football, but they still got to find themselves a quarterback because as great as defense as you play, you'll see a game like last week when they lose in the Tennessee, and their quarterback was out too, 9-6. to six. You, you can't lose a football game like that when it's defense. Your guy Gruden, Khalil Mack, <laughs> co- uh, r- pass rushers aren't easy to find. You know, you know Gruden. This is your guy. Give me the inside scoop on it. What is your take on this? I mean, this motherfucker's playing probably his best football now. He's playing like he's got something to prove. Possessed. So, first, specifically, Khalil Mack, how great is he? One of the premier rushers in the game. Outside of Vaughn Miller, there's no other pass rusher that I would take before Khalil Mack. Hands down. Vaughn Miller, Khalil Mack, A1, A2, however you want it, but I mean, the kid can go. Flat foot go. <laughs> but the thing about it is with Gruden, he was not going to handicap his franchise by paying a defensive player. This Even a, a great defensive player, now a, they can't stop shit. I understand. But what do you do with the quarterback, the receiver, the other receiver, the, the coach? Receiver? We're not worried about the coach money. That don't go in this pot. That money, so his money has nothing to no, do with No, no, the, 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 player, the player's pot has nothing to do with it. I think that's a big misconception because I think a lot of oh, people, no, he's getting 100. That, they thought that Gruden's money has something to do I, with I mean, the, I, the way it's our no, t- I thought it, it's no, just the way it's, they're like, no, well, he's getting no. 100. Because his contract's guaranteed. Yeah. And so when there's like. Like these, Mike Barrow, my old linebacker, he's in North Carolina right now still getting a check from Seattle. That check, that check keeps going with you until that contract's up. Okay. That has nothing to do with players. Players get cut. That money stop. Okay. Yeah. And so, like the the the, the pile of money that 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 Gruden's a hundred hundred million ain't that, no part of it for the players. It's not, nothing, nothing to do with, to it. Do with it. Okay. So, the, so three games into it, deep, the, the Raiders defense got three sacks, and Khalil Mack has four. Yeah. Do you think Gruden is like fuck? No, it's or football. did he know? No, he it's, knew. Fo- it's football guys. Football guys will punish you for a bad football decision. That was a bad football decision. <laughs> that was a bad football decision. He can say whatever he wants to say a thousand years from now, whatever he wants to say. I, I, every time I see him, I'm like, you know you need a pass rusher. And Arden Key will be a good pass rusher. But Arden Key will not be Khalil Mack. No time, no point in his whole life. He might have one year where he'll outdo Khalil Mack. But this young man, Arden Key, will be a good pass rusher. Hurst will be good. But... Boy, it's tough to take away that number of sacks in that year and just leave it away from the football team if they go without it. What, what are the Oakland Raiders? Uh, uh, how, how is this season going to play out? Get, 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 hold on, let me fix this. <laughs> assuming everybody say, assuming everybody stays uh, healthy, how is their season going to play out? They'll win about four or five games. If they had Khalil Mack, might be a playoff team. Fuck. Listen, man, it doesn't take much. Two sack calls fumble, that's two more wins. <laughs> I mean, today, he, he's going to win one game by himself. Right. He almost won the Green Bay game by himself, and he was fresh off the street and too tired to even finish it. Right. He's going to win two games by himself during the 16 game season. And then he's going to help you win two more. So that's four more wins just with him. And then with the young guy, Key, coming along, that's two more wins that he'll find his way to get it because he's learning from Khalil Mack. Right. That's and he how got you the battery a, in his That's back. how you become a f- playoff team. Now, without that, you fight and struggle. Now you 0-3. And, and now your team says, well, we have about a 5% chance of making the playoffs. And we've lost the head-to-head with a couple of those teams that are with bad records with us. So You're in deep you in, shit. Oh, it puts you in a bad spot. And then in, a, in that division, that's always a rough one. Uh, Le'Veon Bell. Oh. Break, break, <laughs> is, is he getting traded? It, it, if, you're his, if you're his teammate, if you're his guy, are you like you're leaving us? You're leaving us out to dry. Uh, uh, like, well, what do you make of the whole situation? And problem. how do you think it's going to play out? I have a problem out? with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Why? A real problem with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I remember a certain receiver, Antonio Brown, bad boy, looking for his money, and that whole locker room backed him about his money, right? Le'Veon Bell wants his money, and then you hear the offensive lineman talking about, "Well, we blocked for you." What? Listen, man, it was one. It was three golden rules in the Tampa Bay locker room, in my locker room. We don't do wives, kids, or money. That's it. And not in that order. 
it's money wise than kids because I can't make your money and I'm and I don't have your skills your wife is all yours buddy you got on your knees <coughs> asked the marriage hey you stood there watched her walk down the aisle your kids I got kids of my own I definitely don't want yours so those are three things you've never brought up in my locker room so if you was holding out like Brooks held out one year on me everybody kept asking me what do I think I said you got the wrong guy I said you got to go ask Brooks because that's Brooks' situation, that's Brooks' family, that's Brooks' life. He has to go through that himself. I support him in whatever he's doing, but that's Brooks' situation. Now, when I got back to the room and called Brooks, Brooks, come on, man, I ain't got no TV in here, I ain't got no RC VCR, ain't no telephone, I ain't talked to my wife in three days. You gonna get me in trouble around here, Brooks. Brooks, like, what are you talking about? I'm like, dog, you holding out for what? I said, you signed to the contract, honor it, and then the money's gonna come. You just gotta play. I said, but doing this, draws that line in the sand. And at some point, somebody gonna feel a certain type of way and it's coming back. So in Pittsburgh, it's gonna be on that now. Why Why did they back? And then they, they started chirping with Le'Veon. Cause Antonio Brown is a direct correlation to who? Big Ben. What do you mean? Who's the one guy that must be happy on every football team? Oh, the court, I see. But gotta, Le'Veon Bell isn't, I mean, shit, he, he catches. This ain't, a, this ain't a running back oriented lead no more. This ain't when we and you grow up. He's this ain't the, oh, hold on. He's like a hold receiver, on. though. When we grow up, it was about the running back. Earl. Earl, Sweetness, Tony Dorsett, you know, Eric Dickerson. I mean, that's just what it was. You got the ball 30, 38 times a game, and the more he got it, the stronger he became, right? We all lived that. This is a pass. Ha we watched Kirk Cousins throw the ball 55 times in a football mm -hmm. game on Sunday with the Buffalo Bills getting your ass whooped 27 to 6, mm -hmm. and you only handed off four times? Yeah. We watched Adrian Peterson, <laughs> a, a freak of nature, get passed around like a wet joint. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh, no, no. Yeah, you hit that. You, I don't, ooh, yeah, you hit that. Now he's leading the league in Russia. Right. <laughs> Running backs are a dime a dozen, two nickels every time. They'll find one. But even a Le'Veon? Listen, you remember they when got we, Connor all right, in there? Give me, give me three years back. Who's the greatest running back in the game? Shady McCoy. Right. How fast is that going? Now the, the best running back in the game? Todd. Todd who? Gurley. Oh, yeah. Slender guy, catches it out of backfield. It just keeps passing. But the most dangerous dude you say is that dude down in New Orleans, right? Kamari? Right. Or the dude in Atlanta when he gets it on third down. Right. It's specialized stuff now. It's not so much who's the workhorse, who's going to tote the load. There's no three down backs except Todd Gurley in the game now. Mm -hmm. It's one three down back in the game. But wouldn't you say Le'Veon is, that, is a, three, three down black, a three down back? Yes. But for some reason, why ain't $14.5 million enough? See, I don't play, so I can say this. <laughs> right. I don't play. I can say, because somebody said to me, dog, he going to come back week 10. And then he gonna get five million dollars. I'm like, I'd rather the government take half of fourteen than half of five. He's not getting any of his like when he doesn't play, he doesn't get the money. No, and there's fines accumulating for all the days that he's missing. So what's this week ten shit people are talking about? Because you have to come back week ten to get credit for the last six weeks for your season. I see. See, there's a the NFL switched around. It used to be the crude season was. Three, uh, had to be a crew player, you had to play three seasons and then three games. It used to be you had to play a certain amount of games. Right, right, right. But then they turned it, and when you're a vested guy, you play week one, your whole salary is guaranteed that year. So if they cut you week seven because you're not performing, I got get, you. you get the rest of your money. So that's why Des Bryant didn't have a job week one, and Martellus Bryant in Oakland didn't either. Right. So now they got to work for their money the rest of the year because at any point they cut you, the check stops. Des Bryant. Did you ever imagine this? I mean, is, yeah, when is he, he that big when of an he, asshole? When he told Baltimore no at $8 million, yeah. Because at that point, the price only goes down. And his agent didn't explain that to him very, very clearly. Once you get an offer in the National Football League, it used to be you had an offer, and then the other teams didn't, you know, talk and, t you know, spread the word around. Not anymore. Not anymore. Is he gonna? Is he going to play football this year? The Cowboys keep playing this bad, they might. <laughs> They're not bringing him back. It's actually word they talking about bringing Des Bryant back to Dallas. Wow. Oh, yeah, Jason Garrett on the hot seat. Quarterback, don't look like he can throw it to anybody. You got no one to throw the, it to the, the also, new, right? The new, the new tight end can't get open <laughs> if my kid is covering him. It's unbelievable right now in Dallas. Wow. That's what you get for all them toes on the line, Jerry. How about that, boss? Yeah, that fucking guy, right? Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You cannot talk that wild 
and, and, and then expect your football team to go out and perform. Right back at you. What about um, uh, Josh Gordon? New England. You know what? They, knock they, on now, wood. I knock on wood. Let's New pray. England. Hold on. Knock on wood. Let's pray for Josh. But something is wrong with this young man. No shit. I just want to know one thing. Is he a football savant like Randy Moss? I don't think so. I didn't think so either because that's been always been the thing of his actions. and They never talk about his football knowledge being that, that savant like Moss. Like Moss went to New England and looked, ran, looked at Tom Brady and him and Tom saw the same defense and went, uh-huh. That's how they broke Jerry Rice's record. Right. Randy Moss is that kind of football savant. Absolutely. I, I play with that Moss. I play with Jerry Rice and I play with Randy Moss. The two most detailed receivers in Keenan McCardle and Joe Jarvision. Two most, four most detailed receivers I've ever seen in my life about the coverage, the yardage, the depth, the everything that goes into the routes and doing everything. We don't know what the fuck, Josh. He's a talent. He's big. He's, he's a talent, but. I mean, you, you got to be on the fucking field to be the talent. Oh, at least around the team. When he wasn't in training camp and he was trying to get it together, right. it still wasn't together. So, how, so if he, let's say he <laughs> plays this week. And and uh, well, how much can he bring to? Uh, how much? Can, All right, I got this how, for you. how much no, can no, no. him and Edelman? I got this for you. At, in a three-week stretch, this kid went for like two fifty, two fourteen, and one eighty something. In a three-week stretch, remember that? If he gives them half of that in a three-week stretch, that's some that's some lights out football. So he has to see this as his last shot. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this is dead end, end of the road, looking over a cliff, all of that. What stuff. would you say to him if you were like, yo, if he was like, sap? What, what, what would you just be like, yo, my man? I don't even need to tell you what to do. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I that, mean, what the fuck? I, you, you'd have to sit down with him, like, what in the hell is going on? Like, like I played in, in the game when, you know, there was no social media, and you can have three different chicks that live. Five blocks from each other, and they won't know each other unless they got the same friends. Right. I mean, that's that's what we grew up in. In this day and era, when everybody got a pocket paparazzi and everything going on, son, I need to know what kind of life you live. I need to know what you want out of life, son. Because right. if I can't put you on a path to where we go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then do it again for 17 weeks to where you ain't out, come on, man. That kid is a talent. But for some reason... That talent never gets on the field. And there's something missing in between work and home. Some, some, some in between there in the streets is grabbing them and got a hold of them. Because home is safe and work is safe. But these two places he's not found in for some strange ass reason. Are the Patriots in trouble? They lose two games. Oh, no, no. They're in trouble because, listen, once you go and show that type of performance to one of your ex head coaches, he's talking. That coaches done. He talked to those players. This is a copycat league. This will be duplicated again. What? What did they do? The game plan. S swapped it up. Ran it at them. I mean, did personnel stuff. Did everything. I mean, and you can see the players reacted to Patricia like, "Oh, coach, you had. Like, like, coach, you had. I, I, boy, we gonna follow you to the. That might be Detroit's rally and cry for the next couple weeks. But it's still gonna have to come to a point where. You're just better than your opponent at what you're doing, and they know what you're doing. That's right. what it all comes down to late in the year because everybody's tired, everybody's miserable. Can you execute your offense and defense better than your opponent? And and the Patriots? They're in trouble. Because of? Their personnel. I think their personnel is finally catching up with them. For so many years, they were just mixing and matching and putting a Band-Aid on. Josh Gordon? What you got up there? Some truth sale bills? I don't know what the hell's going on. And what about their defense? Out. Don't exist. Detroit had their first 100-yard rusher since Reggie Bush. Right. You got to be kidding me. Right. Reggie Bush is on TV now. Right. <laughs> I woke up to Reggie Bush with Good Morning Football. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, man, when Reggie Bush was your last 100-yard rusher, I bet you Matt Stafford feels so good about it right now. Boy, he ready to turn around and hand it off some more.